Shit bombs. Shit bombs. Did I say shit bombs? Yes. Shit bombs are the weapon of choice. Police. French police hit with shit bombs at yellow vest protests. Damn. Fighting back, man. Fighting back by necessary, any necessary means. The French people getting creative, throwing shit at the police. I love it, man. Check this out. So, so police, this is uh, French police hit with poo bombs at Yellow Vest protest. Damn, damn, is it new? I don't know. No, actually, the Venezuelan people did it as well. I'll show you that. I'll show you that in a second. But let's talk about the, let's talk about the, the French throwing shit. Marcel, French police are facing a new form of weapon uh, during Yellow Vest protests. Bags of shit thrown, thrown bomb-like by demonstrators. Damn, fucking hurling shit. Bags filled with feces, bags filled with feces were thrown at police and exploded. <laughs> Three policemen were soaked, uh, through, uh, soaked through with it. Mr. Uh, Rudy Manny from the Alliance Police Trade Union in the Southport city of Marseille told us. Ah, shit, mom. One police uh, also suffered an elbow injury when he, when he was hit by a poo-filled projectile. <laughs> la, la, la. Look, they're knocking people's eyeballs out, and they're, and they're worried about the guy, the cop got an elbow injury. Guy lost his arm. You saw that shit? He lost his hand. Fucking hurling shit, man. I can't believe this. Similar incidences took place in the southern city of Montpellier. Uh, police trade union representative said. Police said there, there had been calls on social media ahead of last Saturday's demonstration for protesters to arm themselves with cockatoffs <laughs> after Molotov. Cockatoffs. After Molotov cocktails, both filled with caca, the French term for poo, policemen were deeply humiliated, <laughs> uh, adding that none of the uh, perpetrators, perpetrators hidden in the crowd of about a thousand demonstrators in Marseille had been identified. Ah, you got to find, you got to put the, it's like that game where you have to take the shit and you have to put it with the person who's, who did, whose shit is this? Who's the shitter? Uh, it's evidence, right? Bag of shit is evidence. Your Honor, this shit, this shit, this man's, this is this man's shit. Can you imagine? Last Saturday marked the 16th straight weekend of Yellow Vest demonstrators in France since November, which have been uh, seen secure, have seen security forces targeted with stones and other projectiles. Authorities said that 40,000 people took place. A total of 11 people have died during the demonstrations, which have begun uh, began over fuel taxes, but mushroomed into a revolution by the people in rural and small-town France against President Emmanuel Macron. Uh, so is it isolated? No, man, check this out. I found this article, right? This is uh, back in May 2017. Poo bombs. Venezuela's new weapon against riot police are puputovs. <laughs> puputov cocktails. So, kakatov and puputov. Fucking. How about shit, shit bomb? I like shit bomb, man. Shit fucking shit bomb. Is that a fucking shit bomb gun? <laughs> Look, they're wearing, they're throwing their own shit, so they're wearing gas masks. That's fucking creative, right? Demonstrators in Venezuela are now on their sixth week of protests against the socialist government of Nicolas Maduro. So this is a flip side, right? So in France, they're, they're protesting against imperialism. They're stuck in it. They got their foot in imperialism. Just let's be clear. Let's not let the mainstream media gaslight us, right? The, the Venezuelan people, in this, this initial shit bomb attack right, was against Maduro. And there is a sect and was about two years ago a sect of young, uh, young people in Venezuela that were tired of, of scraping by, right? Venezuela doesn't have the best economic system, and people, are, people there are, are indisputably struggling, right? But it doesn't, the, the point is that it doesn't give the United States the right to go in and overthrow their country and steal their oil and divert the oil funds to Goldman Sachs, have Goldman Sachs put the oil money in their pocket, right? It, it's... 
England stealing billions and billions of dollars worth of gold from Venezuela, sanctions, none of that is, is, uh, is, is, should be allowed because Venezuela is struggling. In fact, the opposite should be happening. People should be helping Venezuela. But nonetheless, this, uh, this uh, initial shit bomb ep- episode was uh, back in 2017 against Maduro. And, and so what? So it doesn't mean that you go over and throw over the throw the country. It's good. Demonstrations are good. It's a good thing. It's it's a, it's a, a sign that democracy is alive and well. <clears throat> People are allowed to protest. People are allowed to speak up. Right? Demonstrators in Venezuela are now on their sixth week. Oh yeah, uh, on their sixth week of protests against the socialist uh, Maduro, have reportedly started responding to police police's tear gas attacks with so called poo poo cocktails. Yep, glass bottles containing human excrement mixed with water. Oh, fucking stink bomb. Ugh. According to Il Paso, the fetus, the fecal bombs made their debut over the weekend during clashes in the city of Los Tecus, a few miles from Caracas. In, in the confirmation, according to the story that quickly became viral, a group of officers of National Guard militarized police uh, were the target of a fecal, a feces attack, and many were seen vomiting as they took cover. <laughs> so, so the police are allowed to shoot tear gas, chemical warfare, tear gas, fucking giant rubber bullets that knock out eyeballs, and the people are now throwing shit. This is good stuff, man. This is this is this is some real shit right here. On Monday, Il Pass Il Pass reported the type of bombs were used in the city of San Crita and in Caracas. Paint bombs have also been used, whatever. But uh, And what was it? It was over clashes. So, so um, yeah, check this shit out, man. Watch this shit. <laughs> See, this is how it's, how it's working. Oh, 
shit. Holy shit. That's fucking funny shit, man. man. <laughs> oh, man. So back to the real world, man. Fucking, that was some shit right there, right? Fucking fighting back with feces, using feces. So Venezuela looked, oh, let me show you shit. Right, so so I want to I wanna just show back to reality, the ugly, the ugly facts of Venezuela. See, the, 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 the French people know what they're fighting for. They're coming out in mass numbers. They've got their eye firmly on the oligarchy. And, but in, again, in, Venez, in, in Venezuela, it's the opposite, where the Maduro regime now represents anti-imperialism, right? the hold out the empire. Right? So here's, here's our good secretary, the swamp creature, Trump's swamp creature, in charge, Secretary Pompeo, Secretary of State Pompeo, no food, no medicine, now, no power, next, no Maduro. That's evidence right there that, put, that Pompeo is involved in the latest power outage, the electrical war in Venezuela. They knocked out the power of like 80, 90% of the country went, went blank, blank, black, fucking crazy, right? So I want to also put who is uh, put on the record, who the representatives, our representatives, uh, opposing interventionism in Venezuela. These are the 16 people that have uh, gone on the record. So you can read them. I'm not going to, you know, just some of the noteworthies. You've got <clears throat> Tulsi Gabbard. You've got uh, Ro Khanin, uh, uh, Ocasio Cortez, Il Ilhan Omar, Rashid Tlaib. A lob, whatever her name is, right? So you got some people going on the record there, right? Fucking truth. Right? And, uh, but let's look at this article, right? And, and I'll let you go. <laughs> and I'll let you go. So Venezuela is called for, because I just want to touch on on um, the, the ongoing situation in Venezuela, because it looks like it's starting, the coup failed, and it now looks like Guardo. I could be wrong on this. Uh, is starting to run out of gas. That's what it seems like. So Caracas, and hopefully they'll bring back the ship bombs. And imagine that, that'd be the image, right? You fucking, right here. Right? You stuck, you take and you fucking, you fling a fucking shit right in his, right in his megaphone, right? While he's talking, fucking let him eat some shit and throw up. Uh, that's how you fight back, man. <clears throat> so, you know, start stacking, start, start, you know, don't, don't flush. Right? Fucking. Venezuela's opposition leader Juan Guaido on Saturday announced a nationwide march on Caracas as thousands of people took to the capital streets to crank up the pressure on beleaguered President Maduro. Uh, <clears throat> this is a Singapore paper, so you gotta you gotta weed through the spin, you know. Once we finish the tour of the organization in every state, we'll announce the date when all together we'll come to Caracas, said the 35-year-old. It's failing, right? It's failing. <clears throat> I just want to talk about um, all options are on the table. The national, he's he's calling, the, the thing about it is this. Guardo threatened to call on outside intervention when the time comes. Pointing to the con Constitution, which authorizes the use of Venezuela's military mission abroad or foreigners foreigners in the country. Wow, they have in the country <clears throat> the ability to, to call on foreigners to overthrow their own government? That's fucking bullshit. That's bullshit right there. So he's a traitor. Juan Guardo is a traitor, and when this settles down, they should hang him in the fucking public square, if you ask me. All options are on the table, head of the National Assembly president. He's not the National Assembly president. The president of the country dis dismembered the National Assembly. So he's a nobody. He's out in a truck running around with a megaphone. Um, so Guardo was speaking from the back of a pickup truck, right, after security services prevented the opposition from setting up a stage. 20 armed, uh, armored anti-riot vehicles were stationed on a highway that led to the main avenue in Caracas. Right, so Maduro, they, they're, they're, they're getting ready. They're shutting them down, right? Um... I just wanted to see the thing about the power, uh, mounting p political pressures. Oh, yeah. Today, more than ever, we're anti-imperialists. Right? That's the people. We will never surrender, Maduro wrote on a tweet. Uh, 
The mounting political pressure comes as authorities struggle to restore power following a major electrical outage that began on Thursday. Uh, 15 patients and announced 15 patients with advanced kidney disease have died as the result of the blackout. Okay, so now, Medoro, uh, Pompeo, no food, no medicine, no power. Next, no Maduro. So he's, is he admitting that they knocked out the power? There's still no evidence to suggest it, but now there's becoming circumstantial evidence because Pompeo is, is, is literally rubbing it in their face. We sanctioned you, no food, no medicine. Now we, we, we attack your power grid, no power. Right? Next, no Maduro. So if true, if the evidence does come out that the U.S. is uh, complicit in knocking out the Venezuela's power grid, we now also have murder. Right, because they killed fifteen, they they killed fifteen patients. Right, that there you go. Right, is is it war? They're saying Pompeo. Oh, there's not. We haven't declared war. You, it is war. It's economic war. It's electronic war. Right, and if true, fifteen people dead already. Body bag. We are talking about ninety five percent of dialysis units. Dialysis is the 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 the, the kidney machine that requires electricity to run. Right, which today likely hit 100%, are paralyzed due to the power outage. It's crazy. Some 10,200 people are at risk. So, so there you have it, man. There you have it. Right. So, shit bombs, shit bombs away. Fight back. Right. The Venezuelan people, the the uh, the French. A revolution, the yellow vest, everything is coming to, it's all coming down to flinging shit at your opponent, right? So, I like it, man. Keep the shit, keep the shit flying, man. Marcus Conti reporting.